This is All About Evil with George Teles. Hello everyone, welcome back to this episode of All About Evil. My name is George Teles. And I'm Rain from Limelight Wire. So previously we've patched in a show, we've arranged it in 3D and capture in the show file, we've created a workflow, we've given ourselves some palettes and effects, and now we're really ready to create a queue and some queue lists. So yep. let's do it. And we, we, we pretty much organized the desk, so we're ready to start programming. So um, let's begin. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Elation Fuse FSX, and we're gonna locate. Now remember, the locate does not have a value, so you gotta make sure that you're on your intensity, on your dimmer, you give it a, 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 some sort of a value, because if not, when you bring up that cue list, it's gonna come out dark. You'll hear the lights moving, but you're not gonna get any light, so. Learn that the hard way, usually. You sure did. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, uh, we have, uh, let's give it a position, mm -hmm. let's give it a nice color. Mm -hmm. uh, Nice little gobo there. Ooh. And I think we like that look, right? Yeah, shout out to Elation for letting us borrow a fuse SFX in real life. Some good people at Elation. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're ready to record this. So I'm gonna press record. I'm gonna place it over here up in the fader. And mm -hmm. there we go, we have our first cue. That was pretty simple. All right, so let's work on our, our, our next cue. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these Mac Auras. We're gonna locate that. We're gonna make sure we bring up the dimmer. A little position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Point this out to the audience, and I like I like blue. It's pretty. All right, I'll tilt that down just a hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're ready to record our second cue. Again, record and just place it right there. So it's going to give us some options when we do that because it's, it's 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 a little confused and we're at a crossroads. Do we want to update this cue or do and change it, or do we want to turn it into a cue list and add additional steps? Mm -hmm. We want to convert to a cue list. So let's go ahead and select that option, All and right. it's going to bring us into our cue list recording menu. You can see that cue, we are recording cue three. So it's already added cue two, that step, into our cue list. And this, you can see over here says cue list instead of cue now. But we can stay in this menu and we can continue, continue to add looks. And all we have to do is tap the fader as we make those looks and it'll record those cues sequentially. Basically the software knows that you're working on that cue list so there's no need to continue hitting record and record. Mm -hmm. So um, let's make that third look. I'm gonna go ahead and work on uh, the Roby Mega Points. I'm gonna locate that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure that we have uh, the dimmer brought up. Now I'm just gonna give it a nice look. I'm gonna go ahead and point it at the audience. Um, give it a little fan just to give it that little, yeah. that ooh. Yeah, earn right. that design fee. And then we're gonna, we're gonna make that nice amber. It's so great. there we go. We have a nice look going there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna record that. And like I said, you don't have to hit record. It's flashing, it's ready for you to drop in your next cue. Oh, and, and you can see over here it says record Q4. So we would be working on Q4. Okay, so let's double check that our cue list is working properly. I'm gonna release everything. And now, let's go ahead and Q1, our Q2, oh, our Q2, ah. and our Q3. Ah. It looks nice, but it, it kind of just, it's coming out. It's a little choppy, yeah, huh? Yeah, we want to make it look a little smoother. Let's add some timing. All right, so how do you do that? So to do that, we go into the queue by just tapping the touch button, and that's gonna open up all of our queue options, and we're gonna have a smorgasbord of situations here. We're worried about timing right now, so this should look familiar if you're used to programming on any other console. Delay, fade, delay out, fade out. Let's just tap the top here, and it's gonna select all of the options, and we can give them a universal fade time of four seconds. So all we have to do is type four, and it populates in there. And then if we wanted to you know, select a single queue, we could take in the middle queue and maybe go two, and now we have a four second, a two second, and a four second fade. You don't have to save or hit enter or do anything like that, it's just kind of ready to go. Some other options that we'll highlight on now that we're here is link. Link is um, link with previous queue, wait for go, or after previous queue, so that's where you would do your auto follow situations. And move in dark is marking in other consoles. So it has a couple options. Global it means it's looking for what the console user setting is. We, I usually set all mine to early because I like to have all the fixtures marked, you know, as early as possible, why not? Okay, so let's double check and make sure that um, everything that Rain did here is actually applied to that cue list. So let's clear out, I, I, I love using clear. Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead and Q1, and as you can see, it has that beautiful uh, fade mm -hmm. of four seconds. We'll hit Q2. And the ROs were already parked in the right position and they were already blue. We just brought that intensity up because the move in dark was set to early. And our third cue. 
Some mega points are just pretty. And that looks amazing. I so, want whatever hazer is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we got that going, um, I think we're going to work on key profiles. Okay. So key profile is, is interesting because I might want the buttons to do something a little different than George does. And that's okay because we can assign them to do different things. In order to get in there, we're going to hold down our AVO key and you're gonna see that it's gonna give us an option to select the key profile or edit the current key profile. Now, in order to know what key profile you're in, if you look up here at the top right of the screen, you'll see program. Now, AvoLights comes with a couple of key profiles built in. So if I wanted to edit program by hitting edit, it's gonna tell me this profile is not editable because it's right. one of the default profiles. We right. have to select a different one or add a new one. This is gonna be our first one, so let's call it Rain's Keys. Rains. And you can make a couple of key profiles. It just mm -hmm. doesn't have to be uh, this one. You can make other different ones if you're operating video for off sure. of the console. For sure. This particular key profile is for a cue list. So you can see we have the different options here. We're going to go to cue lists. And that's where we're going to see black, blue, gray, and touch. Okay. I like my black key to be release. Okay. I like my blue key to be a go. And I like my gray key to be a flash. And you could have this however which way you like. There's no right way and there's no wrong way. Don't yell at us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but if you exit out, Rain's key's there, and you can see it's selected because it's in the top right corner. Okay. And so when something is assigned to global, that means it's looking at what is currently on the user setting. That means it's gonna default to Rain's keys if this is selected. But okay. you might wanna assign a fader to only be a specific key profile. So how do you do that? Okay, so the way you do that is you're gonna go over here and you're gonna hit open and you're gonna press this, um, that uh, the cue list. We're gonna go under options and we're gonna go under okay. handle. Okay, and over here you have a key profile and right now it's under global. But when you press that, you can see a couple of um, uh, key profiles that the AWO has set up for you, but here's Rain's custom uh, key mm, profile. So mm -hmm. we're gonna select that. Big and now, money. And now we've assigned that key profile to that fader. Now let's double check that it's working properly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, play and see if it's on there. It yeah. sure is, okay. Now we're gonna test our black button. Our black button was uh, flash. Release. Apologies. Ah. Okay, mm -hmm. and now we want to test our flash button, which is the gray button. Wow. Perfect. It's like, you, it's like you're a professional. Everything is working the way that we assigned it to. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, save our show. Very important. You, you always got to save your show. God forbid there's a thunderstorm outside and, and you know power goes out. It will just ruin your whole day. There really is no excuse. It'll set you back. You're going to be running around like... You're gonna, go, you're gonna go crazy. Um, so I think that um, I think we're gonna go ahead and save our show. Let's do it. Let's put it back on the, the the flash drive that we have. We've selected Patriot, which is what our flash drive is named, and we'll call this all about Avo Two. You know, you want to save it at different increments because let's say I do something that radically messes up something in here, I can then go back to all about Avo One, the first right. edition, and I don't have to lose everything. Exactly. So that's saving. All right. And there you go. So we basically have set up uh, the console from patch to programming. And um, I hope this really helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it on the comment. We'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, anything else, Ray? No, if, uh, if you learned something, hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, like I said, put any questions in the comments. And if we don't know the answer, we'll go ask Kate. All right, so <laughs> thank you for joining us, guys. My name is George Teles. And I'm Rain from Limelight Wire. And this is all about Avo. See you next time.